Hello, Nikki from Motor For You. Today we have a Range Rover Sport. This is a HSE finished in the colour Santorini Black Metallic. This car comes with one owner from you. If we take a closer look to the car, you can see just coming around the front bumper here, we have front park distance. If we then come around to the side, you can see that we get 21 inch alloy wheels on this car. If we start to make our way then round the rest of the car to the rear of the car, we get privacy glass. And as we come round to the back, you can see just coming across the rear bumper here, we have rear park distance. If we then pop open the tailgate, On this car, we do also get an electric tailgate, as you saw, so if we press the button just there, the boot will then close for us. Once inside the car, you can see that we get electric windows all round. We also have electric folding mirrors with your window lock and child lock button just below. On this car, we do also get a Meridian sound system, as we can see by the speaker just there. Just below, we have the locking system, as well as the option of memory seats. On this car, we do get a multifunctional steering wheel. On the left-hand side is your volume, changing of stations or tracks, telephone, favourites button and voice control. If we press the menu button, you can see that this then turns into a keypad, which correlates to the screen just there. On the right-hand side is your cruise control, where we have the option of a limiter as well as lane keep assist. And we do also have the added extra of a heated steering wheel. We get automatic wipers and automatic lights within this car. If we then look to the centre console, we have an armrest which pops open and under here we have a big storage cubby with two USB points, a micro SIM and a 12 volt socket. We then have two cup holders, which is where I currently have the key as this car has got keyless stop. As you can see, we can then cover them over. We then have your air suspension here, so you can choose to lower or raise it. As well as if you push this button in, you can then choose your terrain responses. This is what the home page is for the lower screen. Through here we can adjust the climate so we do get dual climate control within this car with the option of ac just above there and to change the fan speed we press this button just here and then that dial turns into the fan speed we also on this car get heated seats for the front passenger and the driver as you can see they get three different heat options of high medium and low we then also have the vehicle settings just here of your different terrain responses as you can see we get a few different options along there if we then look to the main screen on this car, we do get a reversing camera. As you can see, it comes with guidelines. So as you rotate the steering wheel, the guidelines move as well, giving you a rough idea as to where the car will then go when you are parking. And on the left-hand side just there, we have a visual representation of the front and rear park distance. If we then go to the home page, we then have your navigation. On this car, we can see just here, this is what the map looks like. The first page is where you would input your destination, as you can, it, which is just here. We then go back to the home page we then have your media app on this car we have the different bands of dab fm and am we also have the option of bluetooth audio but this only shows up when you have a phone already connected to the car we also have the phone app which again you have to have a phone connected to be able to utilize this you'll then be able to make and receive calls through the car as well as access other apps such as the contacts app which is just on the next page there we then have the eco data this will give you a rating up to five five being the best rating you can get and it will rate you on your energy impact on the car on the three different things along the top there we also get apple carplay and android auto you can access these when you are connected to the usb ports which are just under the armrest there along the next page we have your 4x4i where on this car we have the off-road information when this loads, it will show you the wheel information, as you can see just there. We then also get slope information as well as the compass, and then we also get the terrain response information. So this gives you a little briefing about each of the programs that you can select, and it will tell you as to which one would be best for what you're looking for. And then lastly, we have the low traction launch just there. If we then have a look at the seats, here we have the driver's side seat, which is a fully electric seat, as we can see just down there. On this car as well, we do also get a fixed panoramic roof, as we can see going across the top there. We do get the an electric blind, which we operate with the button just up there. If we then come round to the back seats, we get three seats in the back of this car, as we can see just here. They have Isofix running across the bottom. We can bring down the middle of the centre seat and we get two cup holders just in there. And then we do also have the option of heated seats for the rear passengers, as you can see, with three different heat options of high, medium and low, save it's the front ones. And then we also have two charging points and 12 volts. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please feel free to contact us at motor for you Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.